未经触摸，还把你给他们转钱了过来，这是我们国防事情。We have lowered our shore again with pain remains part one dancing like flames. Now what I want to say is the fact that it's part one means it's multiple parts, and we actually know how many. Three parts. Three part songs are a progressive metal thing to do, not a deathcore thing to do. So Lord and Ashore are sacrilegious, but because they're Lord and Ashore, they'll probably get away with it. Right. Um. The level of both fear and excitement right now is beyond my ability for comprehensive coherence. Comprehensive comprehension. Yes. Evidence. So, uh, I'm just not gonna try to comment anything on this. Let's just go. Are you ready? No. Human. Person. Ready. Ready. Remove your testicles. Are y'all doing the uplifting thing again? Maybe not?
You know, this sort of songs we don't we don't pause them because they flow too well. And then it just stopped. I mean, I could have done that to myself. Um. <laughs> do you know Eternal Darkness by Winter Sun? Yes, I do. Did you see what happened? Yeah, she died. So I think the cut means two things. Thing one, she died. Yes. Thing two. That's when the second part begins. Yeah, it's gonna be a seamless transition in the album. Right. So but for now it feels kind of like Coitus Interruptus. <sighs> Seriously? Yes, that's exactly how it feels. You did not sink into the emotion of this song at all. Yes, yes, I did. There was nothing about Coitus in there, except for the fact that the people probably performed it at one point. <sighs> okay. I have massive respect for this band at this point, because what they're doing is a thing that more bands should do. Because it's easier to gain popularity by shock than it is to do it by artistic integrity and, you know, genuine emotion and the message and all those pretentious stuff. Yes. And they did gain popularity with To The Hellfire and a few stuff before that with pure shock. And then with every new single they put out, they just refine that a little more and then refine it a little more. And this is like the, the epitome of elegance that you can infuse into this style of music. Yes. It's like we're gonna hook all deathcore fans, we're gonna convince them that we're the meanest, baddest, most brutal deathcore band, and then, when they're all hooked, and they can't go, we're gonna give them emotions. Yeah, and that's how you turn corpses into people, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, me neither. Like, this is, this is a conspiracy! They're trying to pull the evil out of deathcore. That being said, I think I have quite an interpretation of the title at this point. Go. Pain remains. Yes. It's the pain of loss. Yes. Once the loved one has gone. Yes. I'm willing to guess, based on how their lyrics usually are, that this song isn't specifically about losing a romantic partner, let's say. It could be just about loss in general, and then you have a story that goes with it in the video. Yeah, it could be that. Well, we don't really know the lyrics, and it's not like we got them. Yes. Um, but we did like them. Yes. Uh, let's, let's see if we remember anything of what they were actually doing musically. No breakdown this time around. Yes. Can't say that, can't say I mind that. It didn't need a breakdown. Yes. Just like Curse to Die. Yes. Um, although that had a breakdown. Let's not get back into that conversation. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a really long orchestral build up till they actually hit. Yes. And for the first time, I think we got like actual lead guitars fusing into that orchestra, like it felt like Adam was part of the Philharmonia. Probably. Yes. Um, I don't know if I would actually call it Philharmonica. To me, their orchestras always strike me more like soundtrack. Yes. Than actual symphonic concerto. Yeah, I just wanted um, to make the dude sound classy. He is classy. You don't have to make him sound classy. <laughs> um, and then when they actually hit it, it wasn't like most of their songs, when it just like slams straight into a blast beat or something, they had that big epic intro with their cathedral-like images all hitting you, and then also introducing the characters, and it felt like this big opening to a grandiose story that's gonna be a painful, sorrowful, epic, dramatic adventure. Yes. And then we got chapter one, and now it feels like waiting for the second Netflix series. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna guess they might do like a trilogy videos before yeah. the album. There's still a month at the time when we're filming this. There's still a month till the album release. I don't know. My gut was just telling me this might be the last single because they've already put out four and I think the album in total is like ten tracks. Yeah. So if they did another two, that would be more than half the album. We shall see, but it would be cool to have like a trilogy video. Regardless, I could not be more hyped to hear the entire thing remain sweet. Sweet. I'm getting into the class as well. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think this is actually my favorite of the music of the single. Probably, yes. 
I have a few more things to say if you let me ramble. Go. They usually have this very sort of shattered, sharp, punchy sound to the drums and stuff like that, but this time around, it felt a bit more thunderous and deep. And that went very well also with the imagery and with the cathedral feeling, like everything seemed a bit more muffled and like echoing. Mm-hmm. So it really helped make that like big soundscape. And the emotional package was like that grief of loss that you were mm-hmm. talking about, but with the up- uplifting edge of the orchestras, it also felt like looking back on a life well lived, something yeah. like that. Actually, thinking of the title, it's like if we go, like you said, it could be any sort of loss, but if we go for the romantic story version, it could be like Dancing Like Flames is actually the romantic story. Mm-hmm. That's why it was so beautiful and ethereal in a way, despite the squeals. <laughs> um, and then it could be that the next parts actually go into the sorrow and turmoil of loss. Yes. So, yeah. What I really get about this band that I don't think any deathcore band has actually, except for maybe Shadow of Intent a bit, Mm -hmm. but not even Shadow of Intent that much, is the vocals and the way everything is framed is very much like a theater piece. Mm -hmm. You know, it had an overture, like an opening, and when you see Will Ramos both hear him and see him, it looks like a theatrical performance, like he's in a character. Yeah. And he lives through the turmoil. So that's that's probably the most refined that this sort of vocals has ever gotten. He's not in a character. He is a character. He's a character in a character. Can I say another thing that goes away from all the class and the deepness? I mean, you probably will anyway, so have at it. Yes. Uh, so ever since we started reacting to the new singles, people have pointed out that we missed out on pointing out one thing, which is that they added Z bass. And in this video, there's no way that we can't not point it out, because it's yellow. I did not spot the yellow bass because everything was blue. Yeah, but the bass was yellow! I'm sorry. Right, all my rants are over. This was so good! I got the gooses. Yes. I almost cried. I tried not to. When he says gooses, he talks about the skin, not about actual birds. I should get a goose. I would not trust you to be responsible for another life. Yeah, I'm still getting responsible for my own, but they say it's an attractive trait if you can take care of something other than yourself. Yeah, if you can. It's not attractive if you kill it. Well, that wouldn't be the plan! But if, if I kill it, at least it's welcome at the wing. Right, so we started with Lorna for and we ended with the goose, who died, which means it's probably time to stop. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we'd make you appreciate the likes and tears, and if you want more, don't forget to subscribe. With bells, thank you very much for stopping by, we hope you enjoyed your thing, and we'd love to see you back at the window, let us see you across the